welcome to the live of guru mantras so today's story is something which happened many years ago uh, in the bangalore ashram there there is a lotus shaped uh, auditorium or mantap it's called sumeru mantap it is in the highest point of the ashram and it's round in shape from far it looks like a lotus and it has a balcony uh, from that balcony we can have a wonderful view of the whole ashram and also the surrounding areas and there is a banyan tree it uh, spreads its branches into the balcony almost covers the sumeru mantap so this is where we had this evening meetings called satsang we used to sit around gurudev and lot of satsang happened in sumeru mantap and this part of the campus i call it sumeru campus <laughs> usually people call it old ashram and there were lot of uh, trees around this trees and herbs and plants around sumeru mantap Uh, and in the around in and around ashram in the area where no there were rooms uh, people stayed it was a small area this kusumiru campus there there were a lot of herbs and shrubs and trees other areas of ashram was very rocky you cannot believe after 25 years you no know, within 25 years it has so many greens and plants everything has come up from that rocky area and when i started living in ashram in 96 it has almost no lot of plants trees were there who came before that they say it was very rocky <laughs> and uh, uh, those days no gurudev used to walk and he, he loves walking and he used to walk a lot and we all walk behind him and uh, when he walks no he suddenly pick up a herb and then uh, he asked me what is this for and sometimes no i will tell what is that for i feel very happy because no it's a time i can show my knowledge <laughs> you feel no okay uh, i know i can share this i can impress uh, we are always in that uh, false notion that you can impress your master <laughs> so that time no i was very small and uh, i was very much into that uh, i thought okay i will know i know this so i will share so i will you know uh, tell all the knowledge i have about the herb this is used for this it is used for that so this used to happen many days he will show a tree and ask me what is this for then i will tell and sometime he will add something to that then one day suddenly i realized uh, Oh, I should listen what Gurudev is telling about this herb. Maybe it has any use which I do not know. And then it's clicked to my mind. No, my mind is behaving like this. I want to show off my knowledge. And and I thought, okay, he is asking me because I know everything. <laughs> so that also used to happen. Uh, I know the science of Ayurveda. I have learned it. So Gurudev is asking me. This is what I thought. but when this suddenly this idea clicked no oh maybe he wants to tell me something he maybe he want to teach me something then my mind came into that listening mode a platform of possibility then when he ask i tell usually we use this for this and then he say something okay this herb is also used for fever no like that he will say something so from there my learning started and uh, once no one herb usually we give it for uh, the we give it for uh, nervous system disorders so and when he asked i told usually we give it for nervous system disorders and then gurudev told this is good for asthma also no like that he asked i registered it okay <laughs> this medicine is for that and then that is somebody came and uh, asked gurudev i have asthma for many years what should i do and gurudev tells him anisha has a good medicine for asthma you go and meet her 
and he came and told me gurudev has told me this immediately i remembered oh morning walk he showed me that herb <laughs> so i used that herb and he was cured out of asthma so and he what gurudev does is he give her credit to me he says oh she cured actually it is the other way round i was just a medium and that is what no our masters have a different have, has a very unique way of transferring knowledge and make you empowered they make you empowered and they just give you pointers and from that no your alertness need to be sharp to get it and he is very compassionate he will wait till you get it <laughs> so if you get it this time your this lifetime we are fortunate otherwise maybe you wait for another lifetime to get it and um, he guides he directs and then he gives all the credit to you that is what he does most of you must be having this experience and that is a leader a leader leads by example he does not just issue orders this is what no he one of those days he was talking about that you no know, how a leader should be a leader leads by example he does not just issue orders he teaches others how to do things first by doing them himself and a, and he says something very nice a good leader creates leaders not followers and he takes care of them and uh, he he delegates responsibilities but he takes care of you and give you direction whenever it is needed so this has happened throughout my life and uh, even today today same way after uh, after a uh, long time you no know, same thing has repeated when gurudev uh, was walking he showed a herb and he asked what is this for and after so many years no he is again asking me <laughs> what is this for then i told whatever was you know i knew and then he told this is good for diabetes like that he asked now i got it <laughs> so very soon something will come up we we just need that now we will work on it and we will come up with a remedy which is so today when this was happening i was just remembering like so many times in the past no how this all these walks in the old ashram and that nice way of teaching and for me it was no after some days i started really learning what is my master trying to tell me so that is how your master empowers you you are uh, you think in one way and especially you no know, you think in the way you have studied you study a shastra a science and you are used to think in that way but sometime master is beyond shastra he knows something which is not mentioned in scriptures and books so that is what comes as real knowledge so just be aligned be alert and be leaders that is what our master does he create leaders around the world people take up the knowledge from him and share the same consciousness and go out and spread and they become leaders they create other leaders so this week mantra is a leader leads by example a good leader creates leaders not followers so you should also create leaders so thank you for joining me and next thursday i will see you with another guru mantra hope you enjoyed